Small charities are in fact specialists. They work in a particular field like HIV or suicide prevention, which means they're experts in what they do. So raise your hands, find and carefully select small charities working with kids. We monitor how well they're run and the impact of their work, and then we raise money for them. Raise Your Hands is innovative and creative and I love that. Chiva is the Children's HIV Association of the UK and we work with all children and young people with HIV in the UK. Grief Encounter is an organisation that helps bereaved children, young people and their families following the death of someone special, specifically a parent or a sibling. So the WAVE project takes children who are referred by schools or GPs or mental health workers and we put them on a six week surfing course and they're all children who are struggling with something so they are all at risk of mental illness. Papyrus was started by a mum who lost a son. Papyrus stands for Parents Association for the Prevention of Young Suicide. We provide training, we provide community engagement with people who want to share our work we provide a professionally staffed helpline called Hopeline UK. We work with both the healthcare professionals that treat them in clinics, so we support them with guidance and resources. What we do at Grief Encounter is set up opportunities for the children and young people to meet each other. We've got kids who come to us terrified of water and who now absolutely love the water. You know, that's a massive success for me to see a child enjoying being in the water because being in the water gives them an outlet for you know, the pressures that they feel every day. I think the biggest challenge Grief Encounter has is funding, it's simple as that. There are many um, challenges we face as a small charity, one of them being that we are so small we don't have a fundraising person, we don't have a, you know, a marketing expert. Funding is the most difficult thing um, to find. People would rather fund something that's a bit more cuddly and, and safe, so some people don't want to be associated with a charity that's talking about something that, which is a bit taboo and difficult to talk about, that's one challenge. So Raise Your Hands has been hugely important for us. I mean, one thing it's achieved is um, opening up awareness and understanding of our work and particularly HIV. Raise Your Hands first funded Grief Encounter two years ago and that enabled us to put on a series of grief workshops which has helped and actually changed the lives of hundreds of families. The other way Raise Your Hands have supported us is to help raise awareness um, of the issues we're facing. They've really done what they said on the tin, they've really listened. Once you're in Papyrus, people love it and I get this same spirit from Raise Your Hands. People seem to sort of catch the bug and, and, and and it, and it drives them, and, and uh, philanthropy uh, is, is, is palpable. People, you can see that people are enjoying giving and doing. This year, as I say, we've got funding for 60 kids. We would love to put more kids than that through the courses because there is need. You know, children are under a lot of pressure these days, and there are a lot of kids that would benefit from, from coming to us. Thank you so much for being interested enough to want to give to charities in a different way. So from my heart, thank you very much indeed. And we are eternally thankful and grateful for the help and support from Raise Your Hands. We can make a difference in children's lives. The two things together, the money and the time, is what keeps the project going. And so many kids are able to get the benefits from the projects because of those people. So thank you very much.